Toastmasters, honored guests, Noble, and my friend, team. It's another great day here at Toastmasters. Another great day to move forward and do something with our lives. First thing I'm going to say, more than anything, is um, a comment one of our Toastmasters made a few weeks back. I will never forget it. Uh, he said, AJ, go out there and motivate you guys. And honestly, I was a bit taken aback with that statement. I'm sorry, with that statement. Because I'm not here to motivate anybody. I come up here and say what I say more for selfish reasons more than anything. I say what I say to remind myself of the message I'm trying to deliver. You guys are receiving the message, but more importantly, uh, for my for personal reasons, more importantly, it just helps me flow with the idea and helps me understand what I'm trying to say. Because if you can deliver a speech on it, you know what you're trying to say. That's basically what I'm, what I'm saying. Now, into the speech. I'm doing my icebreaker for about the fourth time now. <laughs> Depends on who you're asking. However, um, I do the icebreaker to remind myself of where I was and how far I've gone. Because two and a half years ago, I wasn't involved in Toastmasters. I was just a normal student. I really, like, I'm nowhere, I'm nowhere close to who I am today, two and a half years ago. And I'm just going to explain a few points of what I did, what changed, what became, what changed from that time to today, and how it's helped me and how it's hurt me. So first things first, two and a half years ago, I guess you could say I hit rock bottom emotionally and physically, because that was the heaviest I ever was. And that's when I decided I needed a change. And I'm the type of person that doesn't really believe or act on gradual change. I'm really like, when you change, you change. You know what I mean? Like, if you're, if you're on ice, you might as well dance, in other words. And what I did was basically, I stopped wasting time with people that weren't helping me grow, or keeping me down, whether intentionally or non-intentionally. At the end of the day, the fact of the matter is that you are the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Doesn't matter who they are, the five people you spend the most time with, you, more than likely you're gonna be like those people. And I decided that I want to spend time with better people, better quality people. And when I say that, I mean people that are striving for something, people that are trying to move forward in their lives, physically, emotionally, academically, doesn't matter. The point is, is you're looking for people that grow. And I'm glad that because I joined Toastmasters and because I decided to make that shift in my life, I'm more surrounded with people that are seeking to grow and seeking to move forward in life. And one of the biggest things I did to accomplish that was I stopped social media completely. Uh, two and a half years ago, deleted Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of that. I never looked back. I don't know about you guys, I still hear all the important news. The Boeing plane went down, the, <laughs> and all, all the bad news, all the news still reaches me. The guy with no social media, I, I, I read the newspaper, guys. I still receive it, don't worry. I'm not missing out on anything important, in my opinion. And with all that extra time, because I wasn't wasting it on social media, in two and a half years, I was able to read over 500 books on the subject of business, finance, self-development and and investing and those 500 books I don't say it to show off I don't say oh look at me if anything those those books that experience has taught me that I know very little like very very little there's so much to learn and out of all of those books I've read from finance business investing self-improvement everything the most important book I can say I've read, two most important books are one, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. That's helped me form how we should, how you want to think and how you should move forward. Doesn't matter what you're trying to accomplish. And number two best book I've ever read is Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Ego, in my humble opinion, is the worst disease that ever existed. 
It's amazing. The fact is that being humble, being down to earth, gives you so many advantages. One is that you're not seeking to, ah, I want them to look at me. I want them to look at, look at my fancy car. I want them to think I'm so cool. That mentality is limiting because you're not working with your own scorecard. You're not judging AJ. Am I happy with what I did today? No. Instead, you're judging on Joe. Is Joe happy with what I did today? And placing your happiness and your like achievement level on somebody else's opinion is a big, big mistake. And if I can deliver one thing in this speech, it's invest in yourself and focus. In 1995, Warren Buffett and Bill Gates met, and Bill Gates' dad asked them both, what would you say attributed the most to your success? They both wrote down without talking to each other, focus. So if I can deliver one thing, focus. Thank you all.